welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano, Eastern Security Network and IPOB to make our Biafran dream a reality he said Fulani terrorist organization incorporated as Meyetiala whose dormed headship authorizes maiming raping slaughtering of citizens across Nigeria with on your face impunity must be celebrating in its quiet recesses that it has visited Afghanistan on Nigeria at 61. Buhari is the precursor of Fulani terrorist Meyetiala's banality, banditry, barbarity. You know, apart from being a cow's president, no mentally sane leader watches its citizens being murdered in cold blood and uprooted from their ancestral home and farmlands while romanticizing with the murderous terrorist Fulani groups. The last statistical account revealed that more than 600,000 Nigerians from Buhari's ancestral home state, Kasina, have relocated to Niger Republic. Those were the words of Mrs. Aisha Buhari, the nation's first lady. Only a few weeks ago, Governor Zulam of Bornu State told journalists that over 20,000 Bornu citizens have been slaughtered, even though this figure is conservatively way out of the known number of victims of Fulani terrorism, banditry killings, Boko Haram's attack and Islamic State's attacks and their jihadism. The picture is clearer than ever before that Buhari is perfectly suited as the president, a cow president, as a president of the terrorist. It is even more worrisome now that Meyeti Allah a Fulani terrorist group have gone beyond issuing statements on behalf of the federal government of Nigeria. In many cases, the federal government of Nigeria have been caught issuing clear and unambiguous statements on behalf of Fulani terrorist Meyeti Allah. The terrorist organization Meyeti Allah have been playing federal government's role by placing a hundred million ransom on Mazin Amdekano's head if caught dead or alive before he was eventually kidnapped in Kenya. You know, many a time, presidency spokesmen Galba Shewu and Femi Adeshino have directly responded to Governor Samuel Autumn of Benue State over his reservations on the Banala and terrorist activities of the Fulani killer Hesmen, killing farmers in Benue State and overrunning their land. And this presidency spokesman are always supporting the terrorist Fulanis. Nigerians are at a crossroad as to which to be known and call government between terrorist Fulani Meyetiala and the, ter and the terrorist Fulani Nigerian government. Because we don't know who is the government. Femi Adeshino, in a national television program, some two years ago, told Nigerians that it is better for them to let go of their ancestral lands instead of allowing themselves to be slaughtered on the same piece of land by Fulani terrorists. That was a war statement that could come out from a renegade presidential spokesman. You know, 
who chose to lobotomize the evil of a terrorist group for an ethnic blood loss monster because he's collecting money from Fulani Janjaweed and Buhari. When they finish using him, they would drop him. Buhari has himself been intentionally pursuing Fulani Meyetiala's agenda, which has been advocating for cessation of Nigerian ancestral lands for cattle colony to the bill of forest control to open grazing to ancient grazing routes in the private businesses of cattle heading, including trying to collect the waterways. Nigerians also wait with bated breath for Buhari to declare killer Fulani Hesmen bandits as terrorists. The Fulani control rubber stamp Nigerian tenants, having food drag for so long, recently made a resolution to call the killer terrorist Fulani Hesmen terrorists and not bandits. Because the, Fula, the killer Fulani Janjawi terrorist monsters have started dealing with the senators in their villages. They can no longer travel. You know, Chief Olisametu has urged governors of the Southeast to demand the release of our leader, Mazin Amdekano. Metu gave this advice in a statement titled, Use a Nugu meeting to demand Namdekano's release. Metu said, as governors and leaders of Southeast Zone converge in Enugu to find solution to security challenges in the zone, one short step towards achieving answer is for them to use the opportunity to demand for the release of our leader, Mazin Amdekano, from detention. It is considered submission that the release of Mars and Namdekano will not only those tension in the region but also put an end to allegations and counter allegations regarding those behind the escalating insecurity in Biafra land and gave IPOB a chance and gave us the referendum. Although the Ariwa Youth Group have vindicated IPOB and Eastern Security Network, when the Fulani Group said that the Middle Beltans are now obeying IPOB sit at home order and no one is enforcing them to do so. So they should just let us have our referendum so that Biafra will be free. But the governors, the A Fulefu Slave Southeast governors, after their meeting, in Enugu, they were silent on Mazin Namdekano's release. They were silent. The governors and leaders of uh, Southeast condemned the killing in the region and have agreed to join hand with security agencies to stop the killings in the first place. It is the Nigerian security agencies that are doing the killings. The meeting condemned the sit-at-home order and we know why the sit-at-home order was initially started it was done so that our leader will be released unconditionally instead of the governors to support that they are against it they're against it because they are afraid of their fulani slave masters fulani meyetiala the terrorist organization of the fulani janjawi said that's by their exit from the southeast biafra and the implementation of anti-open grazing law, the region continues to witness insecurity because Buhari has vowed to ensure that there will be no peace in Biafra land until Fuladni Emia is installed in Olu. And that was why they brought in Hopus Odema. Buhari vows to continue burning their cities and killing them now that the headers are not there anymore. But thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video, and bye-bye for now.